Today I'm going to take a look at Yuhi's new synth Hive. It's not quite released yet, you can see it's a better version. But the good news is you can all get the better version of this and it will work for free until the 31st of January. So I've put the link in the description there below and you'll be able to follow the link, download the better and have a play with it. Now it's not totally finished, but it looks to me like it's mostly finished at this point. It's pretty interesting the way it is right now. We've got four oscillators, two sub oscillators, um, unison on each oscillator up to 16 voices, two filters, and three modes up here. You can see normal, dirty, and clean. They all sound different. So let's have a listen, shall we? You can hear quite a straightforward filter sound. A very nice one. I'm going to bring up some sub oscillator to go with that. Make this mono. So let's bring up some resonance and have a listen. So a nice complex filter. The filter design is similar to Basil in that they've incorporated a certain method where it sounds very good, but it uses very little CPU. In fact, that's one of the major selling points of this synth. That said, let's take a listen to this. This is a, one of my favorite parts of the filter design. get a very different response out of the filter depending on how you drive it. And you don't often get that in soft synths. Uh, usually they sound pretty much the same or there might be some small variation. Now what's really interesting is when we get to a different mode. I'll show you clean next. And uh, very useful for when you want that. Let's take a look at the input gain effect on this. So it doesn't seem to respond to the uh, input gain nearly as much as the normal mode. Now let's listen to the dirty mode. Now that's a lot more interesting, it's more screamy. And right about here, it seems to break up. It's obviously a stereo filter. And you can really hear it start to modulate there. So let's take a listen to the gain structure on this. So let's bring in a little bit of modulation so we can get a feel. So 
So that's pretty cool. And the routing is done here. So I can bring in the second oscillator right here if I wanted to. Uh, and then we have another filter too. So let's take a listen to the envelopes. Now, the exciting thing about the envelopes is they are supposed to sound, at least on normal mode, very much like that other famous dance synth. So let's uh, try modulating. So the way you modulate on this synth is also very straightforward. You select your modulation source, and you just drag it to the destination. I want to point out a couple of things that are not quite obvious. If you want to modulate the pulse width, you can just drag it to the waveform. Oops, put up pulse. If you want to modulate the pitch, just drag it here. And of course, this one's not quite obvious either. If you want to modulate the phase, you just drag it to this trigger setting. The uh, main attraction, of course, is the fact that you can stack so many oscillators. Let's take a listen to that. And we've got three trigger modes. We've got reset, which will give you sound like this. And then we've got random, which gives you the more lush, free-flowing free sound. I mean, that's just one oscillator, and it really does sound amazing. Let's uh, try out the different modes now. This is another very good place to demonstrate the different sounds that you can get out of this one synth. Uh, I'm just going to go back to this. So I think it just sounds really amazing, and I love the different modes. Now, one of the things I really like to do with these sounds is to brighten them up a little bit more. And uh, often I would use noise, but the thing is, this synth sounds really quite lush. And um, 
I find that I don't really need to add any noise to super saws like this. I don't have to. Especially if I'm going to use the distortion. And I'll show you what this does too. So uh, let's take the mix down. And let's bring up the amount a little bit. And let's just play that again and show you what it does. So that's just brilliant. That really brightens it up a lot. There are different modes too. They sound different depending on how you drive them and the kind of material that's going through them. That's a lot more obviously distorted. We got this, which is basically a bit crusher. Uh, which is just brilliant. And then we've got the rate reducer here. Now the awesome thing is all of this stuff can be modulated. great thing is all of these effects can be moved around too so if I want to clean up some of that low-end mud here just grab my EQ and just take out some of the bass I want to make it more mid-rangey I can and you see what a difference this is making here and if you're familiar with D.Va you'll notice that these effects are basically the same the phaser and the flanger are here. One of the awesome things about this though is the delay, like Silent, has a diffuse mode. And that basically kind of makes the delay sound like a reverb. And uh, I'll let you hear it now. And the mix feature on the distortion is great. It means I can have that rate reduced sound that I have and still retain the integrity of the actual synth sound. So let's make that bright again.
you can hear that f that phaser is really just excellent. It really is one of the best phasers you're probably going to find on uh, any synth, uh, hardware or software. And the flanger is really good too. Take a listen to this. off so you can hear the reverb. Got a tone control. So here we've got a low a lot of low frequencies in the reverb. A lot of high frequencies there. So it's pretty awesome. You could do something like this. Take the mod wheel, modulate the cutoff. And you could modulate the tone of the reverb to go with it. So that would sound like this. amazing stuff. A couple other details. We've got a vibrato dedicated right here and you've got glide time so you can uh, adjust the rate of glide between your mono legato notes. And we've got 12 modulation sources here and you can also, sorry we've got 12 modulation slots. We can also do the via control so you can have um, an LFO come in via the amount of modulation it receives from say mod 2 and we've got some pretty cool things here in the sources like random alternate and constant so with alternate we could do something like this one note it's active the other note it's not We have the entire arpeggiated and sequencer section here. Just to say that we have a swing control here, which is pretty cool. Sequencer is very much just like silence sequencer. It can be a modulator and it can, of course, play a sequence. It can also work with the arpeggiator.
could do something neat too here. You can rotate the sequence a little bit. Just try something out altogether, try something different. Of course, you can have 16 steps. If you just enter in all the notes you wanted in your sequence without any thought for ties and rests, it can actually create some pretty interesting results. So that's what I just did. Let's have a listen. Then we've got our presets down here, so we can actually save our settings in the sequencer. Now that is very interesting. Well, that's all I've got time for tonight. I have a feeling that something interesting is going to go here. Um, probably a very cool oscilloscope, at least I hope. Like in uh, Basil, but better. I think he's got something really, really neat planned. But uh, I don't want to speak for you, so I don't know exactly what's going to go here yet. Another interesting thing you don't often see is an undo and a redo. Pretty cool. If you make a mistake, you're not sure what you did, just go back in time here. So that's it for our session right now. Looking at this, do take a look at my other videos and the sound banks I have available. My latest one is for Serum. And uh, that one's actually on an intro price right now. So do check that out. I'll put the link below. And uh, thank you for watching and take care.